you said that distance cannot be a barricade for true worshippers of God. So this is how many a pedestrians offer their prayers to Goddess Kali of Dakshinesha Temple from a distance while walking on Bali Bridge. One of the internationally famous holiest places of Eastern India, the Dakshinesha Kali Temple looks so divinely charming from this point of Bali Bridge. The view of Ferikhan Dock close to the temple looks beautiful. During the pre-Covid era, this is what the rush of several thousand boat riding passengers used to look like every day. Built in the year 1930, the Bali Bridge, also known as Vivekananda Shetu, is a robust one with an attractive look that runs on pillars erected straight from the Hooghly River. It has a railway track in the middle part and vehicles as well as pedestrians part on either side. A new cable step bridge named Nivedita Shetu has also been built to ease out the load of this old bridge. Both these bridges connect Dakshinesha with Haura, Bali, Uttarpara and Dankuni on the other bank and onto Grand Trunk Road and the national highway that links to several other cities of India. There are many buses from Kolkata and outside Kolkata that are there to reach that Shinesha. Dakshinesha is also a railway station on the Shialda Dankuni section. Most local trains, especially Dankuni local from Shialda station, stop here. addition of transport system to this holy place is the metro railway. The newly inaugurated Dakshinesha metro station runs parallelly right beside the old railway station. Let's take a look. Hi friends. Today I am here at the Dakshinesha platform. This is the old platform here, the old uh, train station platform. And uh, that side you see, that is the metro side. So Dakshinesha as a place has changed a lot now. Ever since the metro has been started. You know. So in one way you have the metro access, on the other side you have the train access lot of you know different ways of coming to this place take a look another metro is coming
situated on the eastern bank of Hooghly River, the presiding deity of the temple is Pavadharini. The temple was built by Rani Rashmani, a philanthropist and a devotee of Kali in the year 1855. The temple is famous for its association with Ramakrishna, a mystic avatar of 19th century Bengal. The temple compound, apart from the nine-spired main temple, contains a large courtyard surrounding the temple with rooms along the boundary walls. There are 12 shrines dedicated to Lord Shiva along the riverfront, a temple to Radha Krishna, a bathing hut on the river and a shrine dedicated to Rani Rashmani. Nahafat Khana, the chamber in the northwestern corner just beyond the last of the Shiva temples is where Ramakrishna spent a considerable part of his life. The view of Bali Bridge from the bathing ghat is also a delightful experience. Every day, hundreds of people take a holy dip or bath at the bathing ghat on Hogli River. The credit for the construction of the Dakshineshwar Kali temple goes to the Queen Rashmani of Jan Bazar. The temple which houses Goddess Kali was founded by Rani Rashmani following a dream she saw when she was about to embark on her pilgrimage to Varanasi. A long-term plan of the Queen materialized which she had longed to perform after her husband died with the unfulfilled wish of constructing a Kali temple. With a traditional Navaratna-styled Bengali architecture, the three-story temple stands on a high platform with a fleet of stairs. 
overlooking the Hooghly River and the Belur Mott across, the Dakshina Sharkali Tem stands tall with its historical association with some of the greatest names to have resided in the city of Joy, Kolkata. Earlier, there are no restrictions for photography inside the temple compound. But now, photography is strictly prohibited inside the temple compound and everyone has to leave their camera or mobile at a counter before entering the main temple compound. This might make a lot of photography enthusiasts a lot depressed who are visiting the spot for the first time. Anyway, let's take a look at those spots without photographic restrictions. The backyard of the Divine Temple is one of such places. There's also a car parking area attached to this backyard. Towards the north of the temple area, there's this Panchavati park that contains several banyan and other large trees, flower garden, reservoirs, etc. Adding to your surprise, you will find big gangs of black-faced lingur monkeys at this spot who may even jump on you and drag your clothes seeking your attention to give them food. monkeys stay here almost throughout the day hours and then go back to their shelters during dusk hours. They eat almost anything like popcorn, breads, junk food, ice creams, lotus flowers, etc. from humans visiting that area. Interesting to watch indeed.
there is one more car parking zone at this site. In November 2018, a new skywalk named Rani Rashmani Skywalk was inaugurated with an aim to make the devotees' journey smooth straight from the Dakshineshwar railway station. It is a futuristic 10.5 meter wide and 340 meter long elevated glass and steel pathway from the Dakshinisha railway station to the compound of the famous and historic Kali temple. The Dakshinesha Rani Rashmani Skywalk project was worth rupees 60 crore and consists of 14 escalators, 4 lifts and a staircase. The outside views from here looks beautiful. Let's take a walk through the skywalk and see what all we can find here. The hawkers who earlier used to have their stalls down on this road were rehabilitated on this modern skywalk.
By the way, it would be almost kind of sinful if I don't mention the famous puris and kachoris with curries and the different variety of pickles available here. Let's take a look at some of those kachori shops and the pickle stalls. Well, they are so mouth-wateringly yummy. One can't afford to miss them while visiting here. Dakshineshwar, a centuries old name of fame, is indeed a place of eternal spiritual charm that evokes a sense of mental peace, joy and satisfaction. Not only the main temple complex but the entire surrounding areas are equally interesting and worth visiting. Amidst the hustle and bustle of thousands of devotees, visitors, hawkers, vibrant all around, one can still find peace of mind and joy of traveling to this place. There's something truly magical about this place that can make you feel like making repeat visits to the place. However, in today's abnormal global scenario with threats of COVID floating everywhere, even this place looks somewhat empty. Many of the spots that used to be full of life with visitors are now being closed. So in this crisis scenario, there is only one thing to pray to God is Kali of the Shinesha. Please, please heal the world. Let the planet be like before when mankind could go elsewhere without this invisible threat. Let this virus disappear into nothingness. Well friends, first of all, thanks a lot for watching. If you have enjoyed viewing the contents, please do hit the like button and last but not the least, hit the subscribe button to let the channel grow. Until next episode, everybody take care and peace.